I hear you. I hear you. There you go. There you go. So I took Nolan to the vet this morning uh, just to get his scheduled shots and also picked up next guard for all three dogs. Next guard. Uh, this is a flea and tick pill that they just eat and it has, keeps them tick free and flea free. So good. It's like once a month. Um, this is something we don't skimp on. <laughs> I do not take chances with fleas and ticks. We've had that in the past and it's so hard to get rid of. Is that good? Is that good? You like that? Yep. Always want to make sure he eats it. Um, Lily last time spit it out, but I think it's because we had just brought her back from the vet office and she was nervous, but, uh, cause she ate it just fine this time. So, gotta water the chickens and no one and, uh, feeding the chickens a bunch of watermelon rind today from my grandma and uncle. That's green bean scraps that I brought out here. Here's an update on the barn cat. I don't know if I showed you guys the third one we had. Uh, he was mine, Nick Miller. Anyways, he passed. He just never um, did very good. When we brought him home, he never grew. He seemed sick all the time, so he passed away. But these two boys are doing really well. Her. And this is Casey K. Um, and then this is Sunny. Very pretty cats. Great barn cats. Great Mausers. And also very friendly, which is nice. Because Casey loves to waller these guys around. Don't knock that over. Come on. Let's go. Look at how big this guy's getting. Look at him. Isn't he pretty? He's a pretty boy. He's a pretty boy. Yeah. See this darker spot? This is where I put that um, cucumber popsicle for them yesterday. It is melted and they have ate every bit of that. Now, got watermelon. Well, they are ready for that. <laughs> Try to scatter it so that way they don't fight. Enjoying that. I'm going to show you guys something really, really gross. Uh, well, really gross for me. And I guess you might think that too. So like I said, I had to take Nolan to the vet this morning. Nolan does not travel. Nolan does not leave this place ever. He's left like two other times to go to the vet just to get his shots. And he is a drooling mess when he leaves. He gets so nervous. And uh, I want to show you my truck seat. This was like this. Okay. Well, look at the dog hair. And the wet spots. Um, yeah. So that was gross. I have sensory issues. And so... 
to be driving while my dog is just dripping, drooling all over me. I wanted to like peel my skin off. It felt disgusting. He was dripping on my leg. My whole thigh here was wet um, from drool. I got dog hair all over my shirt. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, yeah, it was just gross, gross. Oh, he got his shots and he's good. And we got the flea tick pills, so the dogs are good. That's great. I've also noticed that the ticks in our yard have gone down significantly whenever we have the dogs on the next guard. Because what it does is when the fleas and ticks get on the dogs and bites them, it kills them. So it just stops that life cycle. And, uh, and then when the life cycle stops, there's fewer ticks. So pretty nice, pretty nice. I feel confident going out into my yard and I won't have ticks on me. Just wonderful. And I keep Nolan on it because he's out there and I keep the cats on the cat one. I don't know what it's called, something with a C. And uh, so they don't get fleas and ticks too. And it keeps my chicken coop cleaner. It's just overall nice to have. The weather today is actually like in the 60s. It has been absolutely miserably hot the last two weeks, I want to say. Take this to the chicken tractor. So I moved out the meat birds out of the chick brooder. Um, those chicks that are in there are Kylie's. And uh, I think one Cornish is in there, uh, like a small one. But um, she got those the same time that Kyle bought the meat chicks. The meat chicks just grow so fast. So I moved them out here with these guys. There's actually quite a few in here. Um, I've lost a few chicks. One due to heat, not a Cornish, just a, one of the chicks from before. I lost one due to heat and then one is missing. I don't know what happened to it. Another one, this dog ate it. I don't know how she got it. Um, yeah, so there's three that I have not, are not here anymore. Okay, so. All the baby sunflowers that are growing from <laughs> leftover sunflower seeds. Those dogs will not leave them chicks alone. So I am taking their water bucket and I'm gonna go fill it up. And uh, there's my garden. I think I'm gonna try to weed eat in there today since the weather's not miserable. It feels so good out here, it's crazy.
so now animal chores are done and I just wanted to take you through the garden for just a second to show you my cucumbers. So, we know that my cucumbers have been doing really well. Now, the heat is getting to them. You can see their crispy leaves are happening. Like I said, we've had some intense heat this past week, week and a half. Um, today is abnormally cool. I mean, it's like in the 60s. This is August. This is the beginning of August. This is not normal temps. So I'm actually kind of happy. Let my cucumbers take a break. I came out here and we picked last night. And uh, so you can tell though, see how it's getting more yellow and how normally they're very dark green. Um, I don't think I have one to show you. But, um, so yeah, that's just, it's just the heat. It's getting them. These are my German pinks. They have a long ways to go until they're the right size. Um, you see all these little pink and white bugs. What are those? Because I have a lot of them. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. Uh, I've not researched it myself yet. I should have, but... Anyways, I don't know what they do, but they're on my tomato plants. These ones are doing great. I just picked a handful off them last night. Um, they're a very, very sweet tomato. I think they are prairie fire, and I think it was just a seed mix-up because I don't own that seed. Beans are going out. You can see they're all pretty puffy. Yeah, I'll go back there. So, I'll probably let that one dry out some more. Let some of these dry out and save them back. Because I really like these beans. But yeah, the heat is just taking, taking a hold of this stuff. But that's why I have more beans planted. All along there. Something's been coming in and snipping the tops. Oh, there's a rabbit. Honestly. Um, because something's been biting the tops off some of my cucumber leaves. Munching the tops of my green beans. So I think there's a rabbit. I'm going to go inside. Oh, before oh, I do. I seen ya. Isn't that just so beautiful? I love the um, little little specks and streaks on them. I have never grown zinnias before. Another one that's gonna start. Well, I'm gonna go inside, make some coffee. I hear my mom coming up the road with my daughter. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.